So, hello and welcome everyone to my very first YouTube video. We are going to have a little bit of fun on seven days to die. We're not doing much at the moment. We are just crafting a small fort on cheat mode. So here we go. We're going to show you a little bit of it. Continue game. Yes, blood will drip. That's the one we want. And what we want is we want the enemy spawning off and cheat mode on. <coughs> Excuse me. Just gonna start that up a bit for a bit. So yeah, if you haven't played this game, it is a pretty pretty good game, pretty fun. So here we have it. We have a small fault at the moment, it's not completed and there is no zombies being spawned into the game at the moment so we just have a wall that goes right around my little house very small and we have lights every all around to keep it lit up because the zombies don't like lights and the lighter you have it well it's just the less they run towards you so if you don't have lights on and it's night time, zombies run quite a lot quicker at you and they're very hard to run away from. So the more lights you've got, the better. But if you just want to play it without cheat mode, then you want to start uh, crafting torches. It's the best way to start. But yes, if you want to play your game and start it up a little bit on cheat mode, then to get your box up with all the stuff you can get inside the game you just press Z on your keyboard and that brings it all up and you have all your different types of blocks uh, grass, concrete, wood, rooftops uh, you can just go for more and more stairs, metal, post boxes anything you can think of really or you can just go to all items and that will bring up all your weapons, guns, food. Etc, etc. Dynamite. The rocket launcher is pretty fun. So if you want to just have a go on cheat mode, I recommend you have a go with that because it is hell it is so fun. You will enjoy it a lot. Chainsaw, not so good because it doesn't last very long, so you can't really kill many zombies with that. So I won't recommend the chainsaw at all. So yeah, there we have it. So I'm going to go and build a bit more. And then I'm going to sell it on the highest difficulty there is. And get tons and tons of zombies to pour towards me. Once I get my fort built, I'm going to have some bridges going over to the walls and have walkways so I can have nice little sniper points, maybe a few uh, guard towers on each side, and maybe build a sniper nest up on top, which would be pretty nice and fun. Loads of tr put some traps and get some bobs outside, which would be fun to watch them just get caught in. One, two, three, four. Four ways to get into this place. Which will all be guarded by a double door system. So if they break through, then I know they're coming and I have chance to go and take them down. And if I can find any of my friends that have this game as well, I may try and do a team deathmatch which will be really fun so yes on this note I'm going to go and end the video now and I hope you liked it if you didn't like it well I hope you keep viewing just in case because you may like my next video so yes 
I hope you all have fun and a very nice day or night, depending on where you are. Goodbye all and keep tuned.